British Airways, Cathay Pacific, Malaysia Airlines, Qantas Philippine Airlines, Singapore Airlines, Thai Airways International, Middle Eastern rivals Etihad Airways and Qatar Airways, and other airlines on the lucrative London to Sydney Kangaroo route. 21. In 2007, Emirates made an order worth over $34.9 billion at the Dubai Air Show. The airline signed contracts for 120 Airbus A350S, 11 A380S and 12 Boeing 777-300ers.22 22 By opening flights to Sao Paulo in 2007, Emirates began the first non-stop flight between the Middle East and South America winking sad smiley 23. It also began operations of its $120 million flight catering center at Dubai Airport. 24. In 2009, Emirates became the world's largest operator of the Boeing 777 with the delivery of its 78th example of the type. 25. In 2010, at the Farnborough Air Airshow, the airline placed an order for 30 Boeing 777S, worth $9.1 billion, bringing total spending for aircraft in the year to over $25 billion. 6. In 2011, at the Dubai Air Airshow, Emirates placed another order for another 50 777S, worth about $18 billion. 26. The growth of Emirates has drawn criticism from carriers such as Lufthansa and Air Canada, who claim Emirates has unfair advantages. Lufthansa has continuously lobbied the German government to limit the expansion of Emirates into Germany, and hasn't allowed Emirates to begin operations to Berlin and Stuttgart since 2004. 27. Similarly, Air Canada has objected to any expansion into Canada from Emirates. The dispute has received attention from the governments of the UAE and Canada and despite many discussions from both governments, Emirates has not been given more landing rights in Canada beyond Toronto and has been denied. Expansion to Calgary and Vancouver. 28. Emirates has also been criticized over the way it utilizes its staff. 29. In a 2015 Wall Street Journal report, a dozen current and former Emirates pilots and UAE aviation officials said pilots are flying more hours than before and are subjected to onerous procedures to report sickness or fatigue, discouraging them from doing so. 30. The report stated that the airline frequently underreported pilot duty time to the General Civil Aviation Authority. 30. On the 6th of September, 2012, it was announced Emirates and Qantas had signed a 10-year agreement to set up Amajo Alliance, which would see Qantas move its hub for its European flights from Singapore to Dubai International Airport and end its 17-year revenue-sharing agreement with British Airways on the services between Australia and Britain. Emirates would also seek to use the alliance to increase the number of its passengers flying on its routes to other European destinations, and Emirates passengers gained access to Qantas Australian domestic network of more than 50 destinations. Qantas began daily Airbus 380 services from both Sydney and Melbourne to London via Dubai, meaning that together the two airlines were providing 98 weekly flights between Australia and the Emirates hub. Qantas became the only other airline operating at Terminal 3 at Dubai International Airport. The airlines aligned their frequent flyer programs, including Emirates adding a new level to match the Qantas Platinum level. 31, 32, 33, as of August 2013, the partnership between the two airlines included code sharing aligned fares and frequent flyer benefits for passengers, as well as the opening of a joint New Zealand network on 14 August. 34. Qantas will terminate services to Dubai on its own aircraft, effective March 2018, however the partnership will continue, with the two airlines applying for approval to extend it to 2023.35.
At the 2013 Dubai Air Show, Emirates made aviation orders history with an order for 150 Boeing 777s and 50 Airbus A380 aircraft, with an estimated value of $166 billion. The deliveries of the 777X are scheduled to start in 2020, replacing older aircraft and paving way for growth said Emirates Chairman and CEO Sheikh Ahmed bin Saeed Al Maktoum. The airline announced its plans to move all operations to Dubai World Central Al Maktoum International Airport sometime after 2020 when the airport's first phase is complete. 36. Airbus A380 An Emirates Airbus A380 departs London Heathrow Airport, 2015. In April, 2000, Emirates announced an order for the Airbus A3XX, later named Airbus A380, the largest wide-body airliner ever built. The deal consisted of five A380-800 passenger aircraft and two freighter versions. The deal was confirmed on the 4th of November 2001 when Emirates announced orders for 15 more A380-800s. An additional order for 21 A380-800S was placed two years later. In April 2006, Emirates replaced its order for the two freighter variants with an order for two A380-800S. In 2007, Emirates ordered 15 A380-800S, bringing the total ordered to 58.37, according to Emirates. The aircraft would allow the airline to. Emirates 100th A380 at Dubai Air Show 2017 maximize its use of scarce takeoff and landing slots at crowded airports such as London Heathrow Airport. In 2005, the first A380 800 in full Emirates livery was displayed at the Dubai Air Show. 38. On 20 November 2005, Emirates ordered 42 Boeing 777s to help with its expansion. This order came one day after Airbus announced the A380-800 would be delayed by another six months. 39. A third delay was announced on the 3rd of October 2006, pushing the delivery of the first A380-800 to October 2007. 40. The announcement was met with anger by Emirates President Tim Clark, who threatened to cancel the Airbus order as it was affecting airline's expansion plan, saying that it's very serious. This will do us serious damage. 41. As of April 2008, Airbus had paid as much as $110 million in compensation for the late delivery of the A380-800 to Emirates. 42. During the same year, on the 1st of August, Emirates flew its first of 380-800 flight from Dubai to New York City JFK. 43-44 in February 2009, Emirates raised many issues concerning its 380s. 45-46 Emirates informed Airbus officials about heat-damaged power cables, defective engines, and numerous malfunctions many reportedly caused by the aircraft's two showers. 47, 48, 49, at the 2010 Berlin Air Show, Emirates ordered an additional 32 of 380s worth US dollar 11.5 billion. 50, 51, Emirates expected all of its 90 of 380s ordered to be delivered by 2017. None of the additional 32 jets were intended to replace existing A380s, although Emirates received its first A380 in 2008, it does not expect to retire these early airframes before 2020. 52. In 2010, Emirates said it planned to operate over 120 Airbus A380s when new airport space is available. The target implied a future Emirates order for 30 A380s, worth US$10 billion at list prices, at an unspecified date. 53, 54, on 17 November 2013, 
Emirates announced at a press conference at the Dubai Air Show that it was placing GAN order for an additional 50 Airbus A380-800S, bringing the overall order total to 140.55 on the 9th of April, 2015. Emirates CEO and President Tim Clark confirmed that the airline would adopt a two-class A380 with first class removed to make way for 615 passengers across business and economy class cabins. The first commercial service of an aircraft in this cabin configuration was a flight from Dubai to Copenhagen on the 1st of December 2015.56. Emirates is the largest operator of the A380, with the 100th of 380 joining its fleet in November 2017.57, 58, on the 18th of January, 2018. It was reported that Emirates had placed an order for 20 of 380s with options for 16 more with deliveries to start in 2020. 59, 60. Emirates of 380s were originally all powered by Engine Alliance GP7200 engines. In a deal worth US$9.2 billion, Rolls Royce announced in April. 2015 that it would supply engines for 50 new Airbus of 380s, termed a 380CEO, with first delivery due in mid-2016. On the 29th of December, 2016, the first Emirates Rolls-Royce powered a 380 landed at Dubai Airport, registration a 6 EUM, dot Dubai International Terminal 3. Dubai International Airport's Terminal 3 was built exclusively for the use of Emirates at a cost of $4.5 billion and officially opened the 14th of October, 2008. Terminal 3 is the second largest building in the world by floor space, with over 1,713,000 m2, 423 acres, of space. It is second only to the new Century Global Center. The terminal has annual capacity of 43 million passengers. 61. The new concourse opened on 2 January 2013 and is built exclusively for the A380 800. 62, 63, 64. In May 2011, Paul Griffiths. Chief Executive of Dubai Airports revealed that Emirates will eventually take over the operation of Concourse C, along with Concourses B and A.65, Dream Inner Orders. On the 12th of November, 2017, Emirates Airline renewed its aircraft buying spree and agreed to buy a number of Boeing 787 Dreamliners for $15.1 billion. With the first deliveries planned for 2022, the deal included 40 of the new 787 to 10, the largest available dream dinner. The Wall Street Journal described the deal as a painful loss for Airbus, which until 2014, Emirates had a firm order for 70 of its A350 model. The order for the 787 had been announced during the Dubai Air Show and Airbus executives were reportedly seated in the front row, expecting a deal for more of 380 Superjumbos.66 References Good. Let's stop the video. The video is just to split. Let's delete it. So, but the lights, I need to I need to charging my camcorder.